Hello guys, Rachel here of Archaeologist Gaming. Today, we're gonna do the short unboxing and also reviewing the Cooler Master MM720 Gaming Mouse. Let's do the unboxing. In opening the box, you will find the user's manual, extra mouse grips, and the MM720 gaming mouse. Let's go to the specifications and features. The mouse has a length of 105.42 mm, a width of 76.52 mm, a height of 37.35 mm, and weighs at 49 grams which is lighter compared to other mice I used and reviewed before. What we have here is the MM720 Matte Black. It also comes with matte white, glossy black, and white. It's a compact mouse with a honeycomb design for its frame, which makes it lighter. It is certified and rated at IP58 dust and water protection. So if you have a sweaty hands or dusty room, it's not a problem. The mouse has six buttons, which five of them are programmable. The left and right clicks of the mouse use LK optical switches, which can last up to 70 million clicks. The cable is fixed with 1.8 meters in length, and finished with an ultra weave cover, which is for me better than the braided cables because it won't be easily tangled. The USB is gold plated with a purple tip for easy identification. The mouse feet uses PTFE material for smooth control and consistent glide, which is good for everyday use, especially in gaming. It also used the PixArt PMW3389 sensor. The DPI button can be found at the bottom which is awkward for me at first. But to think of it, who changes DPI on the fly if you know what DPI would you use during a game? Anyways, the DPI has 7 levels from 400 to 16,000. When you plug in the mouse, there are two zones of RGB illumination that can be found at the scroll wheel and at the body of the mouse, which looks like a ball of light. The RGB can be also configured. Cooler Master said this mouse is ergonomic, which is good for both claw and palm grip users, which I agree with that statement because it's like a match made in heaven when I tried the mouse for the first time. I laid my hands on it and it's very comfortable. When you click the DPI button, the RGB illumination of the scroll wheel will change. This mouse has a combo feature. To activate it, you must click and hold the scroll wheel and click other buttons either the side or left and right buttons. It will do a function that is assigned to that specific button, like changing the RGB. For added customization of the mouse, you can add some grip tapes which are included in the package. This will add more grip to the mouse if you find the mouse slippery for you. I find it convenient that they will let you decide if you want one or not. The MM720 also has a software where you can configure the mouse which is the CM Master Plus. In the buttons tab, you can assign predefined or user-defined macros to the buttons and the mouse combo functions. In the performance tab, this is where you can change the DPI profiles when you click the DPI button. You can also disable some of the DPI levels if you don't use it. In the lighting tab, this is where you assign what color of illumination you want to use for your mouse. The software provides 5 RGB modes, and I would like to say the RGB illumination is color accurate whatever the color I choose. In the Macros tab, you can create, import, and export macros for your mouse. You can also name and record your own macros. In the Profiles tab, you can create and name a profile for a specific use. Let's say you want to play Dota 2. You can assign a specific configuration to a profile and use it when you play the game. There's one thing in the software that I don't understand, which is the button response time. The mouse is using optical switches, so it means there's no debounce delay which usually happens with mechanical switches. Because a mouse should have the fastest response time for the best experience.
I tested the mouse in my three favorite esport games, Dota 2, Valorant, and PUBG. As I said earlier, it is a match made in heaven. My hands easily adapt to this mouse. I spent a lot of hours of playing on my first day of testing. I didn't experience wearouts, even for the long time of playing. I can say it's because of how light the mouse is while playing the games I love. But there is one thing that I noticed using the mouse. When I tried to click the right button, sometimes I accidentally press the ring finger rest. Compared to the mouse I'm using every day, which is the G402. It has a wider range for the right click than the MM720. It is not that biggy though because I got used to the mouse after few hours of playing. I can really recommend you in buying this gaming mouse. And here's why. At the suggested retail price of 2,500 pesos, you can own the Cooler Master MM720 gaming mouse. At this price point, it is really a great deal because of the said features. And if you are looking for a lightweight mouse, then this is the best mouse you can buy for this year 2020. You can buy it on the nearest PC retail stores like Joyo Marketing and New Tech. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, click on the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page. And see you in the next video.